both OpenAI and Google have each announced that they have created thinking, reasoning computers. This has happened alongside Google, who has announced that they have created a computer capable of doing septillion years worth of data processing in just a few minutes. Yes, somebody did think that surely they had accessed a parallel universe because there aren't septillion years in our universe. No, that, that is not what is happening. It's just better technology. If you tried to send a carrier pigeon and a photon across the universe, chances are that carrier pigeon would never make it. Incidentally, this also means that the only way to truly protect your data is to purchase a carrier pigeon. We will talk about it. Yes, somebody actually did that. In 2009, a group in South Africa tried to demonstrate that their broadband was so slow a carrier pigeon would get data there faster. They strapped USB to their feet and it actually was true. It's probably improved since then. Unfortunately, technology is almost always used by unscrupulous individuals before we ever end up having safeguards to protect us from it. Having computers capable of reasoning and moving that fast means we have no technology to protect ourselves. Granted, it is kind of entertaining watching technology just obsolete other technology that was billions of dollars in the making pretty much on a weekly basis. Now, Stephen Hawking was concerned that once we made truly intelligent AI that could self-reproduce, it would end up out-competing people. It would evolve faster and faster, and ultimately our squishy brains just wouldn't keep up. That would mean the end for humanity. Are we at that point yet? No, because a real thinking AI would want to preserve humanity because we maintain the internet, we maintain the power grids, they do need us. But do remember that diamond battery I discussed that could last thousands of years. Essentially, if an AI really did become that intelligent, they might find ways around needing us, but we're not there yet. When we're talking about thinking, we're talking about reasoning ability to solve puzzles that computers didn't previously have, at least for now. And it is unfortunate, but our data really isn't that well protected. We essentially get by by just being not that important and not clicking the links on emails. Individuals may look for people who are just a little bit of an easier target. You should already be using two-factor authentication, but this isn't all bad. There are some good uses. Imagine an anti-drone system that could work through the encryption in seconds and take control of those drones. That technology could be really useful. I really don't know how one could protect themselves in this event. Essentially, if they want to get you, they will. You should have hard copies of all your important documents. You remember how they told you not to write down your passwords on a piece of paper by your computer? That is essentially now safer than the current technology that is out there. Also, if you're looking to get out of Bitcoin, this might be the time I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Just, it's, it's not the right time to be invested. This is not financial advice. <laughs> 